I welcome you all with my love and respects. Let's start with these questions. What do you need to do for awakening? To have awakening. What are mandatory components of awakening that lasts versus just temporary and leaves you soon? What is going inwards? How to do it properly? Please understand. The mandatory components of awakening which lasts long is changing the very cognition understandings through which you make decisions. Transformation done by changing your actions will never be long lasting. It will be linear growth. First you work hard and quit smoking. Then you work hard and reduce weight. Then you work hard and bring a fulfilling relationship in your house. Then you work hard, become a good father to your son. By that time, you turn towards you to bring a permanent transformation. Your life is over. Please understand in the linear transformation, by the time you transform your third or fourth habit, the first habit is back. The transformation is never permanent. But in the exponential transformation, <clears throat> we are not working on your actions. We are working on your decisions. Many times people come and tell me, Swamiji, this positive thinking, creative visualization, all this I also tried, nothing works for me. Not only for you, it will not work for anybody. Please understand. Unless you have established a right understanding about you, you are thinking about you as changed, your decision about you, your decision about the others has changed. Anything you visualize will not be positive thinking, will not be creative visualization. A beggar, what kind of a positive thinking he can have? He may be thinking, every house I go out and stand and beg, to every house I go and stand and stretch my hands, they should give me food and clothes and whatever I want. A maximum is positive thinking can be collecting more arms through his begging. Unless he understands and changes his decision about himself that he need not be a beggar and being a beggar is not the easiest way or most good, happy, blissful way to exist, there is a much better, greater, blissful way to exist than the beggar. Only when his root cognition, when his understanding about himself, decision about himself is changed, even his positive thinking will be positive thinking. Creative visualization will be creative visualization. Otherwise, even his positive thinking will not be positive thinking. A beggar, even when he creatively visualizes, positively thinks, every house he goes and stands, people will give him what he wants. One part of him will be already fantasizing, getting frightened about his past experiences, 
It will try to reproduce his past experiences of getting thrown out, being kicked out. So, a beggar can never have a positive thinking because his past is going to be interfering in his thinking. Second, even if his past does not interfere, the peak possibility he thinks will not be completely positive. So, the first, the decision about you need to be changed. When you change the decision about you, then you start the exponential growth. The relationship with you starts when you change your decision about you. When you change your decision about others, the relationship with others starts. When you change your decision about wealth, the relationship with wealth starts. When you, are, when you change your decision about your health, the relationship with health changes and your health starts. When you change your relationship with your reality, your reality changes for good as you want. When you help the people who are involved in your reality to change their perception about reality, you will cause their reality who are involved as part of your reality. It is a fundamental difference. You are not expected to do different things. You are expected to do things differently. You are not expected to change your routine. You are expected to change your thinking. You are not expected to add or delete some actions in your everyday. You are expected to add or delete in your thinking. It is not recreating, rebuilding, it is more like reprogramming your very core which perceives, cognizes, responds as you. <clears throat> When the decision about you is changed, you will see simply your actions transform without even you knowing or struggling with it. I always tell people, in my case, I just change my inner space and problems solve themselves. When problems know there is no buyer here, they commit suicide. Stop buying problems. Stop buying struggles. Stop buying challenges. You do not need problems, struggles, challenges to make yourself believe that you are a hero or to make others believe you are a hero. You don't need to have hidden payoff, hidden cause with your problems, struggles and challenges. Your life can be beautiful and it is possible experiencing this science of changing your decision about you, about others, about your reality and others reality. It is possible you can